Hi, this is Helal. In this video on mathematical economics series, we will learn about the determinants and non-singularity of a matrix. Now, the determinant that is denoted by this symbol A of a 2 by 2 matrix called a second order determinant. Now, if we have a 2 by 2 matrix, then the determinant of the 2 by 2 matrix is also called the second order determinant. Now, this is derived by taking the product of the two elements on the principal diagonal. We take the product of the two elements on the principal diagonal. This diagonal, this if I, uh, uh, this diagonal which is like the backward slash, uh, this is called the principal diagonal and this one is the non-principal diagonal. We take the product of the elements, two elements on the principal diagonal and we subtract from it the product of elements on the non-principal diagonal that is determinant is denoted by this as symbol and it is not to be confused by the absolute value so this whole is uh, the determinant symbol and this is not the absolute value now this is uh, given by this is given by uh, if i write this again this is a11 here a two two these are the two elements on the principal diagonal and here i have a one two and here a two one now i multiply these two elements on the principal diagonal that is i multiply this a one one with this a two two and then subtract from it the product of these two non-principal elements non uh, two elements on the non-principal diagonal that is the determinant is then a11 times a22 minus a21 a21 uh, a21 multiplied by a12 that is if i have an example if i have uh, a matrix of 2 by 2 dimension let us say i have a matrix that is b is equal to 1 4 2 3 now the determinant of this b this b is equal to i will multiply these two elements on the principal diagonal that is 1 into 3 minus i will subtract from it uh, the product of these two elements on the non principal diagonal that is 2 into 4 so this will become 3 minus 8 and this is equal to minus 5 so the determinant here is b so this is not to be confused with the absolute value if it were the absolute value then this uh, minus 5 would have been the plus 5 so this is the symbol for the determinant and it is not the absolute value here because uh, we also denote if i have um, x uh, like in the algebra this uh, or in the calculus these two lines and between them if a variable is this is the absolute value but in matrix um, matrix connotation this doesn't mean this is the absolute value now the de uh, determinant is a scalar uh, scalar or it is a simple number here we see when we got the determinant it is a simple number or a scalar so when we found the determinant the determinant is a scalar or a number it is a simple a uh, simple number here when we take now if the value of determinant is zero that is if determinant is if determinant is equal to zero that is if the value of a after um, solving this is zero then we say matrix is matrix is non singular sorry matrix is singular 
now this singular matrix is a one in which there exists linear dependence between at least two rows or columns that is if i have a matrix like this um, if i have a matrix uh, let us say three two six four if i have this matrix now this uh, singular matrix is a one in which there exists linear dependence between at least two rows or columns now here we can see if this is the first row and this is the second row here we can see that this three is scalar uh, to two and this becomes six similarly this two is scalar uh, to a factor two and this becomes four so these are dependent there is a linear dependence between because here the factor is same these are factored factored by two so this matrix is a singular matrix this uh, this um, matrix is because uh, six and four are factored by a number two but on the country if uh, contrary if i have another uh, matrix let us say one two three and ten now this one is factored uh, this three is factored by three but uh, this uh, 10 is factored by five so there is uh, not a common factor factor for these three and ten because here the, these both are factored by two here uh, these both are not factored by the same number so i can say this is a non-singular uh, non-singular matrix now we can see here the determinant of this uh, this matrix is that is three into four let us say if it was c is equal to and this is uh, this is d uh, this is uh, the matrix C and this is D. Here we can see the determinant of this C is equal to this is 3 4 are 12 minus 6 2 are 12. So here the determinant is 0. When the determinant is 0, we say the matrix is singular. But when the determinant is greater than, oh sorry, if the determinant is not equal to 0, let us say here here the determinant of the d matrix is now here is uh, 10 ones are 10 minus 3 twos are 6 here we see the determinant is 4 so d is equal to 4 which is not equal to 0 so if determinant is equal to 0 matrix is singular and if mer uh, if determinant is so i will write here if determinant determinant is not equal to zero we say matrix is matrix is matrix is non-singular 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 now we can have another example of the linear dependence Linear dependence also means if there is linear dependence, there are infinite number of solutions. That means if I have a system of linear equations, so I will rub this here. I will rub this here like, and I will take this out. Now, if I have a system of linear equations, that is 3x1 plus 2 x2 is what is uh, let us say this is equal to 6 and second is 6 x1 plus 4 x2 is equal to 12 now if we solve these two let this be equation first and let this be equation second now uh, to make the coefficient the same we will multiply this first equation by 2 so we will multiply the first equation by this factor 2 so this will become 6 x1 plus 4 x2 is equal to now here it is also 2 6 are 12 let this be equation third 
now we will subtract these two equations uh, subtracting equation 3 from 2 now if i subtract now there here it is 6x1 minus 6x1 so this is 0 similarly if i subtract these two so this will 4x2 minus 4x2 so this is also here uh, this is also here 0 and here we have 12 minus 12 12 minus 12 so this will become 0 is equal to 0 so we cannot uh, we have not a unique solution here this system of equations have infinite number of solutions these system of equations have infinite infinite number of solutions solutions that means these two equations are linearly dependent or if i have the graph if i depict this uh, graphically and if this is the equation for the first equation that is 3x1 plus 2x2 is equal to 6 this equation is also for the second equation that is 6x1 plus 4x2 is equal to 12 so i can say if these uh, if there is linear dependence between the two uh, uh, system of equations then we have infinite number of solutions now in matrix that means if uh, if determinant is equal to zero implies we have a matrix that is non-singular sorry that is singular implies matrix is matrix is singular now we can see here also if i uh, depict this uh, coefficient matrix uh, here so first i will rub this if i take these two if i take the coefficient matrix here that is three two six four now the determinant of this is let us say this is the coefficient matrix a now the determinant of this is now three into four three fours are 12 minus 6 twos are 12 now here we can see the determinant is 0 implies this matrix this matrix is matrix is singular this matrix is singular if the matrix is singular means there is linear there is linear dependence now there is linear dependence uh, these means now if the matrix is non-singular if the determinant is not equal to zero then the matrix is non-singular and these and then the system of equations are not linearly dependent they are linearly independent so uh, we can see here also that here the first row and second row are dependent on each other because the and the second row is scaled up scaled up by a factor 2 because 3 2s are 6 2 2s are 4 so there is same same scale that is 2 so this was all about the determinants and the singularity that means if the determinant is equal to zero i will write again i will now summarize this if i have a matrix if i have a matrix that is if the determinant of a matrix is equal to zero implies matrix is matrix is no uh, matrix is singular now if matrix is singular means there is linear dependence there is linear
there is linear dependence that means system of equations have infinite solutions or no solution is possible we can see no no solution is possible possible now if the determinant is not equal to zero that means implies matrix is matrix is non-singular non-singular means there is linear linear uh, here it is e linear independence see whatever mm. now this means if there is linear independence means we have a unique unique solution now determinant of a 2 cross 2 that is 2 by 2 square matrix is called second order second order determinant that is second order second order determinant now that means the determinant of determinant of a uh, 2 by 2 matrix is called a second order determinant similarly if i have a matrix that is 3 by 3 matrix and one important uh, point is to be remembered we only we only can find the determinant of a square matrix so determinant if we have to find uh, find the determinant we have we can only find the determinant of a square ma matrix a square matrix is a matrix where the number of rows are equal to the number of columns here the number of rows are two and the number of rows are uh, number of columns are two so this is to be remembered now in subsequent videos we will see how this matrix is used to form a system of linear equations or how a system of linear equations are expressed in the matrix form and also we have uh, we will see the applications of this uh, matrix algebra in economics like we have the creamers rule and we will apply so for more videos on mathematical economics please subscribe our youtube channel econ maths also like comment and share if you like this video thank you